see how it starts. It's 100% that's what it's going to be. Okay, so welcome back, guys. Uh, today we have a... Let me shut this truck off. All right, today we have a D13. It is uh, 2014. Check engine light. We have a code for the turbo charger, supercharger, boost control, A circuit range performance. Uh, the mileage on it is 513. The engine is like struggling to stay on. You can hear it. It's um, choking. It. That's basically what's going on. It's choking out. Uh, loss of power. The turbo. That's it. <laughs> right here is what we got the VGT right here, the turbo. What I'm gonna be doing is removing the four bolts that hold the VGT onto the turbo. Uh, hopefully remove it, separate it a little bit and free up the VGT. Uh, that's the reason why it's choking it up. That's a really common issue on these and the Cummins. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up. All right, guys, we got the four bolts removed from the actuator. I'm gonna try to st uh, start it up right now without removing it, and let's see what reaction it does. So we're gonna, now that we got the bolts removed. Let's see. Yeah, it's locked. So this right here is your nozzle, your VGT nozzle. This should be moving freely back and forth from here to this end. And as you can see, it's locked. So I'm gonna do is just tap it with a hammer, move it back, and it's gonna free up and we're gonna start up the truck right now. Well, you know what? Let's try to start it up with the actuator off so they can see real quick. <laughs> Probably uh, lock seizing up doing due to the soot. See right now it's seizing up. <laughs> Alright guys, so you can see we removed the filter housing, a couple pipings out of the way so we can visually inspect the turbo a little bit better. Uh, as we can see right here. There's no damage to it whatsoever. And we're gonna be checking the play on it. And there's a lot of extra bolts over here. Nothing uh, crazy, nothing abnormal. We don't need that. So as I was saying, that we're checking the play on it, on the shaft, and it's, it's normal. Perfect. No oil. We got the actuator removed. Like I mentioned, we removed those four bolts. So now we have the turbo right here. This is the sector gear. Where this uh, gear on the actuator sits on and controls the VGT. So right here I'm gonna be showing you how it's seized up. It's binding. Anything helps for the fuel economy. We did a video on these, but it was a Cummins ISX, I believe, uh, showing how they like to seize up. And this one, same issue. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys. You gotta mess, you guys gotta mess with the sector gear a couple times to see if it's binding, but not just once or twice. But. So, yep, that's a sign that's uh, failing. Uh, most likely due to soot buildup 
Yeah, well, that's why we we're having that cold and the reason why the engine was sounding the way it was sounding and it was choking out on us. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this turbo and replace it. And this is this goes to show you basically you don't have to have an oil failure, like a bearing failure, and you'll have oil coming out or the fins broken on the on the turbo for you to have a bad turbo. There's lots of signs of it. Obviously, those are the most common ones. You have oil coming on the inlet side or on the outlet side, or this will be damaged. You'll have too much play on the shaft. The bearings are shot, but this is also another failure. Yep, seized up. There you go. So, yep, we're gonna go ahead and replace this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated.